And we are underway from the Rose Garden Arena in Portland. Moro Ranallo, along with Frank Shamrock, Pat Militich, and Heidi Andral. This for the 185-pound crown in strike force. And immediately, Rockhold searching for the range. Kennedy swimming in momentarily before backing up, using that kick as a range finder, Pat. Yeah, and the height and reach of Rockhold is dramatic. Yeah, checking the kick was Rockhold letting him know, no, you're not going to land that. Oh, <laughs> big collision. A couple of forearm smashes. No bionic elbows. Rockhold pinning Kennedy along the fence. Kennedy's got the wizard. Yeah, smart throw by Rockhold. See him posting that right hand up as high as he can. That takes the power out of the wizard by Kennedy. Uh, great thing to do to be inside on that shorter, compact uh, opponent. Kennedy trying to get his hips out. That was to the winner. With a knee to the midsection on the exit. As they once again separate early here in round one. Southpaw stands for Kennedy. Well, Kennedy told me his strategy, throw punches with massive power and then close the distance. That's pretty simple. Kennedy getting in close, but Rocco doing a good job of turning the tables, putting him back against the, the cage every time. Another knee from Rocco. Making this Close quarter competition count. There's a short elbow strike from Kennedy, trying to create some distance. Yeah, pushing the hips back, trying to break his posture is what he's doing. And there's a knee from the tie club by Kennedy, but again, when your back's against the cage, you're not going to be able to derive much power, much oomph behind those shots. Kennedy, I don't know how he's getting his hands back inside there, man. Moving his, moving his hips enough just to get the right angle to get back inside. Pretty sneaky. Midway point of the opening round. Oh. Rockhold getting the better of this Not striking better. exchange. Hurts Kennedy with the right. Kennedy swinging wildly, and now Rockhold, though, pinning him up along the fence instead of maybe stepping back, Pat, like you said, and getting the better of these striking you exchanges. You know what? Overall, though, he's been getting the better in tight also, so why not? Doing a good job controlling position. Not now as he, the tables are turned, and Kennedy with the takedown on Rockhold. Now the question is, can he keep him there? They put the power on him that time. See Rockhold blocking with that left arm, trying to keep him from progressing up his body. Kennedy is just on this. See the battle going Rocking. on for Kennedy's position of his left arm. Kennedy wants that left arm under his head because that's your hook that holds you and glues you to your opponent's body. Without that, you can't move with them. So Rockhold's doing his best to get rid of that. And he's tying his legs up nicely here, keeping him from passing that guard. Rockhold scrambling underneath. Trying to hip escape, but Kennedy in this position, very tough to dislodge him. Yeah. Hip movement, wide base. But again, this is where he just wants to sap the energy out of Rockhold, looking for that left arm, wants to pop it out, going for maybe the Kimura. Yeah, Rockhold doing a good job fishing for that. He's got a pretty stout guy to do it to, though. He has six submission wins. Never has submitted anyone via That's Kimura. Good. Has four rear naked choke victories. But now, straight arm lock. The double wrist lock here by Rockhold from the bottom on Kennedy. Kennedy has never been submitted. And, and Kennedy gave him that and let him battle for it so he could pass yep. to get to cross sides because that's where he has the advantage on the longer rock hole. And Kennedy now has the champions back in the final 30 seconds of the round. Rock hole back up to his feet. Waist inch trying to break that waist lock. And again, looking for the arm. Now turns back into the challenger. Yeah, he put his back on the cage so that no one else could be on his back. <laughs> <laughs> Wise move. Ten seconds left in the opening round. On the exit, right hook from the champion. High kick blocked. Kennedy comes forward, and round two coming up. Of score. I'm going to give the round to Rockhold. I mean, really, overall, he, he really, even despite the takedown and control. Uh, yeah.
you know what? What did he do with it? He really sure. didn't get him in trouble you with know, it. You know, judges are. Well, here's Rockhold just getting in range again, unloading nicely, throwing Kennedy off balance and counterpunching. These guys are real dangerous here in the early round, just kind of winging it. Rockhold landing the better shots and just staying on top of Kennedy the whole time. I thought he was going to hurt him even more in that round. There's a beautiful right hand right behind the ear, over the shoulder, and uh, stunned him pretty good. But Kennedy comes back. He said, nah, uh He's going to steal with that takedown and a beautiful hip turn and smash. Yeah, very powerful guy. Once he gets his hands locked, it's most likely you're going down. Yeah, Rockhold going for a hold. And I thought he should have used this to escape out because it's a tough hold to get. Uh, he had the straight arm at top. Right, and watch, watch Kennedy. He's, he's letting him get it, and he's working for position so he can snake out the cross sides at the same time. Both guys are playing a chess game. Step all the way back to your corner. One round of this main event, Strike Force middleweight title fighters in the books. We are set for round two. Big John McCarthy calls for action. The champion in the red gloves, the challenger in the blue. Trying to turn on him, maybe hit a switch. And remember, four of Rockhold's six submission wins have come from the back. The rear naked choke, what he's fishing for right now. Yeah, you really don't want a long, rangy, great grappler on your back. Rockhold spreading him out, he's riding, looking for the spot to throw his left leg in, get those hooks inside. Nice elbow from the bottom there by Kennedy. Greg Jackson in Kennedy's corner. Of course, he was the target of some criticism by Luke Rockhold going into this fight, saying the Greg Jackson game plan is conservative. Well, if it's effective, and they have a lot of bonuses in that camp as well, and Kennedy now back up to his feet and seems a little upset by what transpired there, Pat. He's not up what was going on. Well, I tell you what, I, I think he's just happy he got out of there. Seem frustrated by something. There's some weird going on there. <laughs> Left hook misses by Kennedy. Rockhold, of course, a big height and reach advantage in this fight. Kick punch combination from the champion. From the southpaw stance, of course, always making it difficult, although the the kryptonite usually that straight right hand. There's a nice one-two combination put together by the southpaw champion. Kennedy's allowing Rockhold to fight his fight. He can't do that. He's, he's not shutting Rockhold down, and he's the one with his back against the cage. It's not a place to be. And Rockhold oh, really feeling it. Right hand as Kennedy tries to change levels, looking for the shot. Nothing doing. The champion now beginning to find the zone. Switching stances momentarily. Back to hold the back. So there's that left liver kick. Because of the speed and the reach of Rockhold, you know, you, you generally have to go at the same time they go. Move your head when they throw, move outside or inside, and throw power and catch them coming in. Oh, right there, right there. Hand caught the champion, but he walks right through it, and it's amazing that that front kick becoming so prominent in MMA is Rockhold again, the combination thwarting the takedown attempt by Kennedy thus far. Kennedy looking to persevere, however, and now Rockhold looking for the armbar scramble. Kennedy now looking to secure the double. That was a smart rollout by Kennedy. He wanted to roll and end up in cross sides. A snake out of that submission there. Kennedy's on him. Now it's Kennedy controlling head position with Rockhold against the cage. seen those kicks from Kennedy or from uh, Rockhold in this fight. Lead left hook countered by a left from Rockhold. Nice Rockhold kick. looking to sh give him a shave there with that right kick. Some of the kicks we've seen in the past from Luke Rockhold, who likes to mix things up. Of course, working with uh, Kung Lee and AKA, picking up a few ticks from 
the former Strikeforce middleweight champion, recently picked up his first win inside the octagon. Rockhold hunting down the challenger. Straight left, oh. nice counter right from the challenger. That's what Kennedy needs to do right there. Catch him coming in. Final minute now of the second round. Scheduled for five for the middleweight crown. Lewis got to find a way to pin him in that cage, stop his lateral movement. Well, you get the feeling that Kennedy's trying to lure him in for something nasty. Better watch out keeping your leg up in the air like that. Final 10 seconds of the second round. The champion, Luca Rockhold, at nine. Inside the distance, the challenger Tim Kennedy, 14 and 3, 12 wins inside the distance. We're going to round three. Luke Rockhold's mother in attendance, applauding the efforts of her son, the champion, Team Champ, as they're calling themselves. Oh, here's the here's the big kick that uh, yeah, it could have been a, a whisker shortener. Nice power in that one. Turn the knee over. Here's the big elbows on the ground, and this is where there was a little bit of, uh, hey, uh, what's really going on there? Kennedy with a nice short shot right there to Rockhold's lips. Right here, Kennedy had a moment backing away with that counter strike, as Pat was talking about. But Rockhold just keeps bringing it. High, low, kicking. He started to loosen up his kicks in that round and started doing damage, not only to the upper body, but to the mid body as well. Kennedy landing only three power strikes in the second round. Luke Rockhold, not many more, nine, still tripling the effectiveness of Kennedy, but pace needs to be picked up a bit here in this championship fight, Pat. Round three. Well, if Kennedy wants to steal this, uh, steal this belt, he better. Needs more of those leg kicks. Rockle trying to oh, befuddle great Kennedy hits. with the switching of the stances. Once again, nullifies the takedown attempt by Kennedy. No secret that Kennedy wants this fight on the ground. Shorter, more compact guy with the underhooks. Got the body lock on him. Needs to possibly either uh, yeah, hit a trip or get down lower around the hips up to his hips in. Rockwell pummeling now, has the underhook and overhook. Couple good knees, oh, one that low. One. That was uh, square. In the corner. Stand right here. Stand right here. I'm telling you, you grab the fence again, I'm taking a point. Oh, and the referee, Big John McCarthy, warning Luke Rockhold that if he grabs the fence again, he's going to take a warning. He chewed, or take a point. He chewed Kennedy at the end of the last round for that. And now Kennedy, of course, getting warned for the, the low blow. One minute gone here in round three. Champion Rockhold, challenger Kennedy. Still not really putting together much of a sustained effort. Kennedy backing up. Rockhold catches him with that right hook. And that draws the ire of Kennedy, who now responds with a couple of leg kicks. Unable to circle away from the champion. Rockhold doing a good job now of pinning Kennedy along the fence. Kennedy with those side kicks. Wow. Ducking underneath the right hand of Rockhold. But Kennedy unable to take him down again after that shot against the fence. Yeah, Kennedy got in tight, but here's the problem. He dropped to his knees and didn't keep a foot behind him to plant and start driving. Yeah, he did it on two knees. That's what he did against Lawler when they fought, but he was able to keep scrambling after him, finally get him down. You gotta keep driving with your legs if you're gonna take down a great fighter. Show stats, the strikes thus far. Rockhold has landed more. Kennedy, though, higher percentage, very close. And now Rockhold landing a left hand against the fence. Picked off when he was attempting that kick. Now 
looking maybe for a, the way he set up that stance. Maybe a side kick now squaring up a little more from the southpaw stance. Oh, lands a nice straight left to the jaw of the challenger. And we are halfway through the Strike Force Middleweight Championship bout with Luca Rockhold's belt at stake. Too much single shooting and putt shutting going on here, Pat. Right, there is. And, and for Kennedy, I think, you know, at some point they need to, to change the strategy. He needs to be walking forward, moving his head, and just keep walking him down until he gets him where he wants him and start unloading. I was going to say strategy by or, or judging wise, Kennedy's running away the whole time. It doesn't look like he's engaging, although he is engaging as soon as uh, Rockhold gets close enough. Right, right. Again, Kennedy Tight. does a good job of avoiding the strike and tying the champion up, but unable to bring him to the canvas. And now Rockhold may be wanting to look for that arm, nice. but now. because you know Luke Rockhold's going to be looking to wall walk. Yep. Don't grab it. Look at Kennedy trying to horse him over, man. That was a battle of wills. Back to back mount here by Kennedy's got. Kennedy's look at got the body tight triangle. Choke there. Nope, loose. Rockhold's cleared the leg. And he's back to his feet. Wanting to break that waist lock. Less than a minute remaining here in the third round. See how hard Kennedy's leaning one way, torquing on him. You got to watch for that dump. Kennedy can put his hips inside, lift him up, turn him upside down. Nice angle change. And now Rockhold had Kennedy momentarily in the fence, nailed him with a right hook. Not a lot of sustained action here in round three. 20 seconds left, the champion moving forward with the left. Warm attrition brewing here in Portland, Oregon for the Strikeforce Middleweight Championship. Final 10 seconds. Rockhold momentarily had Kennedy's back. We're headed to the championship rounds. More of a tackle war between these two. I think uh, Kennedy takes that round. First round that he's won yet, though. The striking belongs to Rockhold in this one. Just short, chopping right hand there. He's staying in range the whole time. And he's, when he switches stances, he's bringing this left forward. I mean, that is a tremendous shot. Directly on the chin, feet planted. Hey, what, a, what a chin for Kennedy. And Kennedy just staying on the hip, staying on the takedown. He got in really good position after this one. Sort of a rear leg trip, kind of drug him down, pulled his hips out, and then was right on his back. Yeah, he this just torqued on the hips so much. Step inside and bump those hips, and over you go, right? Yeah, this is the most danger we've seen uh, Rock hold in this fight, is in that position. So we're into the championship rounds, and uh, we've been informed that the reason that uh, Tim Kennedy was a little upset earlier in the fight was when Rockhold uh, grabbed the fence, so he was, uh, you know, rightfully so. As uh, we are into the championship rounds here, fourth round about to get started. The champion in the red gloves, the challenger in the blue. Who wants the title more? Rockhold and Kennedy, a couple of piston-like right uppercuts by Kennedy as he circled away from the cage. Rockhold has switched up his stance now. Rockhold's done a great job of controlling this fight for the most part. He's walking Kennedy down the entire time. Kennedy's trying to set traps, but he's not seeing his openings. Left head kick there. I think that's why he switched his stance.
Maybe he just needs some more options in a striking game. Well, he, he needs feints and fakes. He's got to lure Rockhold in. He's got to get Rockhold out of position. Rockhold's never really been out of position striking. And he's got to catch him coming in. He's... In that last round, Kennedy landed 15 or 24 strikes. Rockhold just 9 of 32. They say defense wins championships, but offense earns you a fan base. Yeah, yeah, it does. But, uh, you know, you can't be a leadoff fighter against a guy like Rockhold who's just going to move away from you and use his reach. You have to catch him coming in, do damage, and then explode with three, four, five shots, then hit a takedown behind it. Kennedy attempted a cut kick a minute ago and then kind of stopped at the last minute. Side kick from Kennedy trying to keep the champion at bay. The champion just stalking him along the fence. Southpaw position, flashes the left hand. Nice body shot. Three minutes remaining in the round. Crowd beginning to chant Luke. Cheering on the strike force middleweight champion. Switches stances again. Kennedy backpedaling. Body kick sends him to the fence. Yeah, that was a hard kick. You know, Kennedy's really deceptive when he changes angles. He should be doing that with his striking as opposed to just his takedown. Right, but here's the thing too is, I just don't see a sense of urgency out of Kennedy at all. Yeah. Body shot from the champion. That's kind of what happened to him in a Jacare fight though. A little bit, buddy. Kind of got in the mode and yeah. didn't switch it. Maybe a guillotine, my arm in there. I'm gonna watch that head. A minute and a half remaining in the fourth round. The champion knocked down the challenger, but it's the challenger now. He's got Looking it. for the guillotine on Rockhold, and Rockhold escapes her back up to their feet. This is an ideal time where you want to pop off, throw three, four punches, and then go back down lower into the legs. Uh, maybe not want to get in that much room, though. Well, if either of these athletes wanted to make a statement, guys, it's time is running out. Well, when you're the champ, technically, you just do enough to win sometimes. Uh, the challenger, obviously, you want excitement, but... Not when you're the main event, but... challenger has got to take And the now back. the challenger is taking the back of the champion. And Rockhold just sits down. Trying to peel him off. Wants to turn into the challenger. Ten seconds remaining in the penultimate round. There's a bit of a side show. Nice round for Luke Rockhold again. Very easily could be four rounds to zero in the judges' eyes, but at least three to one. I think it's three to one. Luke's mother watching with vested interest, of course, as we revisit some of the action of yeah, that when, last when round. When you talk about big punches, they've come from Luke Rockhold, like that one right there, sort of a right upper cross that just smoked Kennedy and put him on his butt. But his, Kennedy's recovery is so quick. And this is a perfect example why you don't throw a hook with your opposite hand down, because you end up getting lit up and dropped. Oh, he even landed that jab, too, as he's moving forward. 
just driving him back and then right on top of him. Survived it well, got back to his feet though quickly. So with the Strike Force middleweight title hanging in the balance, we head into the fifth and final round. Will Luke Rockhold maintain his grasp on the title in his second title defense, or is Tim Kennedy going to find a way to wrest the belt from around the waist of that man? We're underway here. Final round. The two touch gloves, the champion in the red gloves, the challenger in the blue gloves. Fans here in Portland. Kick by Kim. That's what he's got to do. As soon as he comes in, strike, strike, take down. He needs the KO. Yeah, I know. controlling the range. And it's all about the feints again. Yep. He's got Kennedy completely confused as the one he's actually going to throw at him. Kennedy shoots in the sprawl by the champion back Five. to their feet. Kennedy pins him along the fence, but unable to bring this fight to the canvas. Luke Rockhold doing a good job with his takedown defense, doing a good job, as you guys mentioned, with controlling the range, getting the better of the Offensive opportunities, although in that last round, very even, and now the power strikes, well, not so even. 32 to 13 in favor of the champion. Two takedowns successful for Kennedy, but only in the fact that they took the champion down, and he did go for the uh, the submission attempt on the one. Yeah, but really, you know, didn't have him in desperate trouble. Straight left from the champ. That came good off a nice fake kick. Right to a straight left. Yeah, there you go. Fancy and face, brother. Yeah. Oh. so aggressive when he gets close to you. And only when he gets close to you. <laughs> now he's switching off to the single. Let's see if he can turn the angle. He's going back to a double, back to a single. Kind of trying to make up his mind. Grip there, that's gonna stop him. Champion now in top position. Scramble though, and Kennedy back on top looking for the guillotine. Need it Needs it. Now Luke's now. looking for the takedown, right? Yeah. 224 left, and he gets it. Well, like we talked in our keys, this is where Rockhold does damage, when he's grinding on you right in the middle of the scramble. Look at how he's got the far foot, had the head, the underhook, uh, really, really tied uh, Kennedy in knots that time. And a good legal knee right to the midsection. Final two minutes of this main event for the Strike Force middleweight title. Rockhold's wrestling has improved greatly. You can tell that Cormier and Velasquez and all those guys have really been working with it much better. Switch minute dances. and a half now left in this fight. Does anything remain in Tim Kennedy? Can he pull something out here? He needs a stoppage in order to win the title for the champion, like you said, Pat, content to ride it out. Yeah, I think Pick the up the wave is. and physically, I mean, he's you can see the, the, the difference. It's quite paramount how just how much bigger Luke Rockhold is. Well, Kennedy's a very thick guy, but Rockhold has a huge frame. Final minute of tonight's main event. The Strike Force middleweight champion, Luke Rockhold, with his back along the fence. Tim Kennedy getting put on the fence now by Rockhold and a knee to the bread basket. 45 seconds remain.
is just on him. Ten seconds left in the fight. Kennedy with an elbow from in close. We're going to the judges' scorecards. Wow. And Luke Rockhold's mom stands in appreciation, I'm sure, breathing a sigh of relief as well. A workmanlike performance for the champion who did what he had to do. Ladies and gentlemen, after five rounds of action, we have a unanimous decision. All three judges scored about the same, 49 to 46. All three in favor of the winner. And still, the Strike Force Middleweight World Champion, Luke Rock.